Hi, my name is Tom Callisto, and I'm up at the Wood and Shop Traditional Woodworking School in Earlersville, Virginia. And we're going to talk briefly about the sailor's chest. This was inspired by a piece that my stepmother bought. She was, loved antiques, and she bought this when I was in high school. Not this piece, but a very similar chest, and I fell in love with that. And I've always wanted to recreate it, and I've recreated it here. And one of the great, some of the great features about it are we've got the little rope beckets for the handles, and the front and back are sloped, which I really like, the canted front and back. Um, that gives a little lower center of gravity. And, of course, it has through dovetails. Uh, this piece would work great for, you know, uh, heck, if you want to go on a whaling trip or something, it would work great for that, obviously. Uh, but it's also a great ottoman, uh, footstool, or something, at the, say, at the foot of your bed, or even a blanket chest. So this is a great project. And we're going to be teaching a class on it in October, I believe. We have a live class here at the school. And we'll go over all the details from making the root beckets, the through dovetails, with a little bit of a twist. These are not your standard through dovetails. Um, we're going to do a little customization of some hardware. We've got these nice strap hinges. We've got to do a little, not blacksmithing, but a little altering to them. Uh, this one also will add a till to it, perhaps, if you choose to, um, just so you can put your smaller items up in there and make a nice traditional sailor's chest. <laughs> this is Joshua Farnsworth. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials, workshop tours of amazing traditional woodworkers, and tool buying guides. You can ask questions and share your projects with thousands of woodworkers on my free traditional woodworking forum. Make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started in traditional woodworking. Enjoy!